Hey guys, Jeff and Chad here, getting ready to do our next demonstration. Just want to make sure you realize that you need to get hands-on experience with a qualified person. That This demonstration is just to give you some preview of what the rescue is going to look like. All right, gang, so what you're going to need to do is grab the equipment that's needed in the rescue bag. That's going to include coil rope. It's going to include the belay spool with the carabiner attached to it. Three additional steel carabiners. The spare trolley, which is going to include the trolley, the tether, and a carabiner attached to the bottom of it, and the A-tray, and all of those are attached to the spare trolley. The final thing you'll need is three Prusik loops, and then obviously the backpack that you're gonna to need to put it all in. That's the gear you're gonna need for the rescue bag. All right, so the first thing I've done is I've kind of flaked out my rope here so that uh, I know that it's not tangled up, and I'm gonna inspect the rope uh, as I put it into the, the backpack. So first of all, I'm gonna do about the first six to eight feet, and I'm just sort of feeling the rope to make sure doesn't feel like there's any abnormalities in the rope. And I'm gonna get about six or eight feet out and then I'm gonna actually tie a figure eight on the rope there and we'll teach you that knot. That'll be one of the ones that you learn. And then that's gonna go into the bottom of the baby and we'll talk later about why that's so important. I'm just gonna feed the rope in. I've already inspected this first part up to that figure eight. So I'm just gonna feed that in, I'll go past that. And then at this point I'm actually gonna Continue to inspect the rope as I pack it into the baby. Putting it in there one piece of rope at a time, not, not getting a bunch of bundles and putting it in, but just kind of feeding the rope down in there and allowing that rope to stack down in the bottom of the backpack. All right, on the other end of the rope, uh, you're gonna tie a bowline on a bite with a finishing knot, so Chad's gonna go ahead and do that. You wanna make sure that you dress that knot so it's nice and clean. And again, that's gonna be a skill that you're gonna learn and a knot that you're gonna to need to know very well. And that's gonna finish off the end of that rope. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working with the spool. We're gonna take the spool and we're gonna actually add the spool to the end of the rope. Wrap it three times, going between the pins. Then we'll close that back up. Then we'll put the carabiner back on it. And that connects your spool. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna have to cut. Crap. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and tie a Prusik loop onto the rescue rope. You want it on the opposite side of the spool from your bowling on a bite. Go ahead and dress that and get that ready. The other thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna put a carabiner onto the bowling on a bite. Gonna attach that. And that's gonna be attached up here to the spool to store it. And then an additional carabiner is gonna go onto the plastic loop. And that's gonna be attached to the spine side of the carabiner as well. And that gets your spool set up. And at this point, we can finish packing the rest of the rope. And we'll stick the rest of the rope into the baby. So the final things you need to do is go ahead and take your two prussic cords that are left, just tie them in a little overhand knot, nothing fancy. That's just going to keep them together and that's going to go in this pocket here. Set that up. We've got the spare trolley, which is actually going to be folded up. You can go ahead and stick it in to the pocket. And then once you're done there, you're going to take the final carabiner. Flip it to the top of the backpack. And this is your packed baby, ready to go. So uh, we will have already spoken to the guest and the guest has tried to do the self-assist and can't do it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a ranger assist at this point. So I'm gonna start out by going ahead and putting my Prusik on the cable using the Prusik wrap that we showed you. Making sure I offset the knot. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my trolley. I'm gonna pass my trolley through the loop there, clip it on there so that I can now hook it to the cable and have the Prusik loop be on the spine side of the trolley. All right, at this point, I'm gonna talk to my guests on the deck and ask them to please stay here on the deck while I go out to assist our guest, Chad. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer up to here and create a trolley sandwich here with one of the clips metal on either side of the trolley and in front of the Prusik cord. And I'm gonna mine the Prusik cord as I go down the line. 
so that we make sure that it doesn't lock up on me and that it flows freely until I get right before the guest. And at that point, I'm going to engage the Prusik so that I don't uh, get into his face and then I can work from there. So I'm gonna head on out to, to chat at this point, get in that zip position and just kind of mind the Prusik. All right, Chad, just checking in to make sure you're okay. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and capture you by taking this uh, clip and putting it on the spine side of your um, trolley there. And then in just a second here, I'm gonna start pulling you up. What's gonna happen is I want you to stay in that hold position until this tether gets tight. Once it gets tight, you can move your hands down to the trolley tether there, and I'll pull you, and if I need any assistance, I'll uh, ask you for it, okay? All right, are you ready? All right, off we go. Go ahead and wait until this gets tight. All right, you can go ahead and move your hands down. Right, pull it a little bit. All right, I've gotten tired here, so instead of pulling his weight and my weight at the same time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what's called the inchworm. So I've gone ahead and captured my progress with my Prusik, and then what I'm gonna do now is take Chad, have him stay in that position, pull him up to me, and now Chad, will you go into that hold position for me? Excellent, you stay in that hold position. I'm gonna pull up to where it gets tight again. I'm gonna capture the progress by bringing my Prusik up, locking that in, and I'm gonna pull Chad hands down on the tether again. All right, back in that hold position. Excellent. Come on up, and then what I want you to do is duck under the cable for me. Stand up on that side. All right, at this point, we have a very specific order that we want to do things. So we're going to start by securing the guest. So I'm going to take their first white tail and put it behind the keeper. Secondly, I want to secure myself. Now, I've got two choices here. I want to make sure that I take the one off of the trolley and secure myself. Then I'm going to make the guest comfortable. Go ahead and step on your tippy toes. Step down, and I'm gonna have you step on right over here where you're secure. I'm gonna make myself comfortable, and then I'm gonna clean up by doing Chad's Y tail. And this still is the same as the Y trolley Y that we teach you guys about. We just did it Y Y trolley trolley Y Y. And then I'll go ahead and break down and uh, clean up the rest of the setup. And that's the end of a Ranger Assist. All right, now we're gonna do this is a trolley transfer. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of my Y tails and put it out on the line. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up the spare trolley and let it go out there and it's just fine. I've set up my Prusik here, knots offset. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing we did for the Ranger Assist. I'm going to go ahead and feed the trolley through and then clip it onto the line with my Prusik behind me on the uphill side so that it helps me when I pull back up. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and transfer my other one. Of course, I've already tried to get him to, I've checked with him, he's fine. And uh, I've let my co-ranger know that uh, I've got somebody on the line I'm gonna assist. I've also let the guests know they're gonna stay on the line. And so I'm ready to head on down the line to, uh, to check in, in with Chad. I think he's gotta have his trolley transferred out. So I'm gonna go on down there prepared to switch out his trolley. All right, Chad, just want to check and see. Yep, looks like we're having trouble with that trolley. Do me a favor if you would. I'd li like to have you duck under the cable, stay in that hold position and go ahead and grab onto that cable there. All right, awesome. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and come in a little closer here. We're gonna go ahead and switch out your trolley. So I'm gonna take the carabiner here and I'm gonna open up the carabiner. And I'm gonna go ahead and scratch the belly, which means I'm gonna hook it downward and I'm gonna go right through this hard point right here. And once I clip it on there, I'm gonna go ahead and close this gate, twist it down because this is a twist lock. Twist it down until I feel the pressure and then I'm gonna go back about a half turn. And then I'm gonna do a squeeze check to make sure that's all set. All right, so Chad, now I've got you connected to this new trolley here. So what we're gonna do at this point is I need to get your old trolley off. So the way I'm gonna do that is I've got this atria, this rope ladder here. I'm gonna have you take your foot, have you put your foot up in that ladder. Then we have you have your other foot and go ahead and cross it. There you go. 
Awesome. And then I'm gonna have you tuck that underneath your bottom there. Let's switch your hand over to here. And then um, I'm gonna, on the count of three, we're gonna have you stand up in this. And I'm gonna go ahead and undo this trolley and then you'll be on this new trolley. Now you'll be a little bit lower because it's been connected here with the carabiner, but that's, that's expected, okay? Got this carabiner oriented the way I want it with the screw gate going down. I'm gonna do a squeeze check again to make sure I've done that. All right, on the count of three, Chad, you're gonna go ahead and lift yourself up. One, two, three, up you go. Awesome, down you go, a little bit further down. Excellent, at this point I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this from you here. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this uh, clip and I'm gonna clip it into your trolley. So we've got the gated side and we've got the spine side. We always wanna clip in to the spine side of the carabiner on the trolley. Now what's gonna happen, Chad, is as I pull you up, this is gonna get tight. Once this gets tight, you can go ahead and hold on to your tether here and I'm gonna pull you on in, okay? All right, wait until that gets tight. All right, go ahead and move your hands down. All right, yeah, what I'm gonna demonstrate here is a single lower for non-medical emergency. I've already talked with my guest, Jeff, and determined, we've looked at some options and determined that the best option for him at this point is to go ahead and lower him to the ground from the platform. So I've also radioed into the office, letting them know that we are gonna be doing a lower. We'll be lowering our guest, Jeff, to the ground, letting them know where we are and there's a non-medical emergency. I've also talked to my co-ranger, who happens to be on another platform, letting them know what I'm about to do. I'll start off by setting my two crescents. Now that I've got my crescents wrapped, I'm gonna grab that belay spool. I'll take a look at my belay spool, see which side is meant for the guest, and which side is meant for me making sure that I have the guest side going away from the platform. I want to clip that to the cable. Once I get that blade spool connected to the cable, I'll put my Prusix into the blade spool, into the carabiner on the blade spool. I'm going to flip that carabiner. So once again, we have our setup on the spine side of the carabiner. This is the screw locking carabiner, so I'm going to lock that down. Back it up just a hair, give a little squeeze check. I'm gonna move my whole system out just off the platform where I want it. And I'll set my Prusix, get those nice and tight so my system doesn't slide. All right, so I've got my Prusix set. Squeeze check my carabiner. I've got the guest end going away from the platform. And then I've got my end with my fireman's blade coming back towards me. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna go back over this uh, setup for the single lower once again. I've got the guest side, which is with the auto locking steel carabiner away from the platform, and the guide side with the fireman's blade back towards the platform. Uh, there's also a left and right, from where I'm looking at it, a left and right component to this, and I wanna make sure that we're on the proper side. The way this one is currently set up, the guide needs to be on the left side and the guest needs to be on the right. And the reason that matters is when I go to lower them down, I don't want our ropes to cross, creating too much friction and could possibly stop the lower. So in order to get the guest on the right side, I'm just gonna step back and have my guest step over to this side. I'll switch sides with them. So now the guide side is on my left in this case, and the guest side is on the right. Next thing I wanna do is connect my screw gate carabiner to my belay loop. Again, scratch the belly so you don't pick the nose. I'm gonna lock down the screw gate carabiner. Give it a little squeeze check. Then I'm gonna take the guest in with this auto locking steel carabiner. Open it, I wanna to connect to Jeff's belay loop here. Again, scratching the belly, just like so. A little squeeze check there. And that is our basic setup there. We've got a squeeze check. Squeeze check, squeeze check. All right, and at this point, I wanna go ahead and get into a good uh, working position. 
I'm gonna start off by moving my guest one clip into my system here using the Prusix and the system that's set up as a keeper. So he's still on a keeper there. And I'm gonna move his second clip to the rescue rope just like that. At this point, I want to weight the system. Jeff, I want you to face out away from the platform there. And then I want you to just kind of sit down in your harness, sitting back towards the platform until you feel that red rope holding your weight. And now you can see his weight is now on the red rope and not on his Y-tails. All right, Jeff, go ahead and step back up. And I want to keep my brake hand on the rope, which is on the inside of my thigh. Take out this last little bit of slack. Always keeping my brake hand on the rope. At this point, I am ready to lower. Move my final clip to the rescue rope. And Jeff, I can turn and face towards me. As I get to lower you down, I want you to use your left arm, the one that's closest to the platform. As you lower down, so if you bump into the platform, you can just kind of use that hand to guide you off the platform as I lower you. Does that make sense? All right, and once you get down to the ground, I will, there will be a, someone from the office there to greet you, but it, just to get yourself off the rope, you may take these clips off. I squeeze in the back, you squeeze in front, and take those off the rope. And then I will have, I'll talk you through getting that carabiner off of your belay loop. And make sure, please make sure you leave that carabiner on the rope. All right. All right. Okay. All right, squeeze check, squeeze check, squeeze check. All right, go ahead and sit down and use that left hand to guide yourself off. Yeah, nice and slow. How's that speed? That's perfect. All right. Again, nice to let me know when you're down there on the ground. I am on the ground. All right. All right, so here we're going to set up a group lower. Uh, in this scenario, everybody is being taken off of the deck, so we're going to work together as co-rangers and get the group down as quickly as possible if it's a lightning storm or something like that. So this is how that works. All right, I'll go ahead and grab the spool. So we're going to start out by setting it up just like a single lower. Tighten up these prussics, just like with the single lower system. All right, as you can see, we've got the left to right set up, so I'm going to stay up top and lower. Chad's going to be lowered. So this gets set up just like a regular single lower system to start out with. Check, squeeze, check. Everything looks good. On belay, Chad. Belay is on, Chad. Yes, I'm ready to lower. All right, guess so what's gonna happen is as soon as we get Chad down to the ground, and we're gonna lower you guys um, one at a time. It's a group lower, but you're not all going at once. Up belay. All right, I've just made it to the ground. So now I'm gonna get off belay, take this off, and then I've got one job right now, which is just to hold this right here at my knee level. All right, awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bowl and a bite rope right here. All right, once I've got that tied, I'm going to take the extra rope. Clear. Toss all the rope down to Chad. Rope. Clear. All right, and then I'm going to clip in a carabiner here, and I'm ready for my first guest. All right, now that Jeff has dropped the rope, I'm going to tie another bowl in on the bike to complete the loop for the group lower. And a little squeeze check. And that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you come around, if you would, on this side for me, Doug. I'm going to switch sides, and it'll alternate every time you connect a new guest. All right, so Doug, if you'll step on up to me here, a little slack. I'm going to clip you in right here. Close that down. Do a little squeeze check on it. All right, awesome. Squeeze check there. We're going to pull up the slack. Online, Chad. Blaze on, Jeff. Okay, go ahead and get a little closer. All right, what I need you to do is I'm going to switch your white tails up to the front here a little bit closer. All right, and you see how Chad kind of sat down on the... Uh -huh. 
the weight of the rope there, so you're connected into this rope here. Okay. All right, one more time on blade, Chad. Blades on, Jeff. All right. All right, lowering, go ahead and sit down for me, weight that system, step out over the edge there. Hang on to this rope right here, it's fine. And then Chad's gonna lower you while I watch the spool here. Make sure it doesn't cross. We'll see you in just a minute, Doug, good job. Now, Ryan, if you'll do me a favor and come stand right behind me, that'd be awesome. You'll be next and I'll be clipping you in from this side over here. All right, thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right, we're off, Jeff. All right, Ryan, go ahead and get behind me. Hang on to those for me. All right, I'm gonna clip this on into your hard point where you've been hooked in before. And you saw how we lowered Doug there. We're gonna do the same thing with you. Okay. Quick squeeze check there. All right. Slack out. Get these up closer. On belay, Chad. All right. Switch this down. Go ahead and sit down on your system. Go ahead and hold on right there. All right, awesome. All right, awesome. Okay, that was the last guest. I'm going ahead and connecting myself in. All right, on belay, Chad. All right, so we're done for this particular scenario. I uh, appreciate you watching. Feel free to watch it a couple of times and pay attention to the details. We're gonna be working on this uh, the next time we see you, and uh, hopefully this will help you be able to understand a little bit better about what's expected. But we definitely wanna make sure that you realize that this is only a supplement to the actual training that's required that's hands-on with a qualified person. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time we see you.